Hello friends, welcome, welcome to our channel. This is Chemistry Crafters with Banu and I am Arun Kumar. Today our discussion is should we use phosphates in the formulation of home care products. Many phosphates are available sodium tripolyphosphate, monosodium phosphate, disodium phosphate, trisodium phosphate, calcium phosphate etc. Generally, phosphates are very good cleaning materials and excellent builders. Most of the phosphates are readily soluble in water. And storage handling is easy. Most importantly, it is cheap. These are all plus points for phosphates. On the other hand, the minus point is it is not good for our environment. Worldwide, in many countries, there is ban for phosphates. Some of the countries are UK, US, Canada, German, Japan, Italy, China, etc. In case of India, so far now there is no ban. But in 2014, Central Pollution Control Board suggested to central government to implement ban for phosphates. But central government not implemented the proposal so far now. BIS Bureau of Indian Standards set a guideline for the usage of phosphates. As per this guideline, 0.2% of phosphate is allowed in home care products. That means, in one liter, for the example, in 1 liter of liquid detergent, 2 grams of phosphate could be included. But it is just guideline only. Now let us discuss what is the environmental problem due to phosphates. In many of the home care products and the cleaning products, phosphate is one of the ingredient. For the example, we will take a liquid detergent with phosphates to understand this problem. What will happen? After the completion of washing process, that outlet water, I mean that rinse water will tend to deposit in our surroundings. Just imagine this is the case for entire country. That rinse water with dissolved phosphates will infiltrate in our soil and mix with groundwater. That groundwater is interconnected with nearby water bodies like rivers, lakes, streams, ponds etc. So the point is Ultimately, the phosphates what we have used in our liquid detergent is now reached in the nearby water bodies. Once phosphates are entered in our nearby water bodies, then that is problem. The problem is eutrophication. Yes, eutrophication is the environmental problem due to phosphates. Let's discuss what is eutrophication. We know nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are very good fertilizers. Farmers using the fertilizers to get the crops bigger and faster. Ultimately, they are achieving very good results and harvesting the crops in proper time. Suppose, just imagine if they forget to harvest the crops, what will happen? The crops will start to degrade. Now let us come to our problem, eutrophication. Due to contamination of phosphates in our water bodies, the aquatic plants will grow and mature faster. But here there is no one to harvest the plants. The plants will start to degrade. This is the problem. This is called as eutrophication. Due to eutrophication, the first problem is water pollution. The pure water will become polluted water. The second problem is loss of dissolved oxygen in water bodies. Now we will understand what is dissolved oxygen. 
We know oxygen is essential for all of us and it is available in our atmosphere. Similarly, the dissolved oxygen is essential for all the aquatic ecosystem. In all the fresh water, more or less 8 ppm of oxygen is dissolved. This is dissolved oxygen and this dissolved oxygen is essential for all the aquatic ecosystem. Due to eutrophication, during the process of degradation of aquatic plants, the microorganisms will consume the dissolved oxygen in water. So there is possibility for loss of dissolved oxygen in water. The third problem is lowering the temperature inside the water bodies. If plants are covered entire surface of the water bodies, then sunlight will not have the chances to penetrate. But sunlight is essential for all the underwater aquatic ecosystem. If sunlight is not penetrated inside the water bodies, then the temperature drop will happen. This temperature drop is a severe problem for all the species right from microorganisms to very big creatures in aquatic ecosystem. To understand the problem of temperature drop, we will take an example. Our body temperature is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. The slight deviation in body temperature makes us uncomfortable. If the deviation is little excess, then we cannot even walk. Now we can understand how the underwater species will be affected due to loss of sunlight. If their biological systems are affected, then directly or indirectly it will affect us also. Because directly or indirectly we are interconnected with aquatic ecosystem. So these are all the problems due to phosphates. Now let us come to the discussion. Our discussion is whether we can include phosphates in our home care products or not. Before getting to the conclusion, we will see what are the alternatives for phosphates. Zeolites, silicates, carbonates, citrates, etc. In conclusion, there are three answers for this question. No, in ethical point of view. Yes, in legal point of view. What about the commercial point of view? No for premium quality products. Because even though phosphates are very good material, very good cleaning material, sometimes it will destroy the texture of the fabrics. The damage is severe for some specific types of fabrics. Yes, in case of economic quality.